podcast from our studio in Sofia, Bulgaria. Hey, great people. This is the Artcast Radio from our studios in Sofia, Bulgaria. My name is Tinomu Juni Ivan, and I will be your host for this latest podcast entitled Reasons for School Dropout. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Anastasia. Uh, may I please know what you're doing in this school? Uh, well, I'm studying uh, management and economics oh, in the 11th grade. In the 11th grade. Uh, what inspires you to study that? the that area well the area is not really my thing but i think it's going to be useful in life well i'm not going to continue study economy but it's going to be useful at some moment okay uh, this is great it's great that you can think that way so uh for that fact uh what do you think about school dropout uh i think that school dropout uh, means uh, you gave up on life and uh, because school is basically uh <laughs> because school is basically uh, the the startup for life mm-hmm. and when you drop out of school you're like nah i give up i'm, I'm not gonna finish this and uh, that means you're a person that never finishes anything and mm-hmm. it's not really a good thing it's not a good thing at all like i would also uh, do the same i'll tell uh, like people who drop out to uh, to find something that would drive them more. Okay, have you ever thought of dropping out from school like uh you know you go to school every day and you could have any feeling of dropping out? Have you ever did so? Uh no, I haven't thought of dropping out. I've thought of uh, uh taking a rest like one week, uh, traveling somewhere, but not dropping out because I have goals to reach. It's not going to happen with that school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, ah, okay, cool. <laughs> and okay, how do you feel every morning uh, you wake up or oh, each time you may be with friends out, you know some people go to school late in the afternoon, like uh, maybe you're out with friends and then you have to tell them, "Oh, I have like a few minutes to go to school and prepare. I have to prepare myself." Like how do you feel each mo- that moment comes? Well, I'm a um, not really organized person and I need like one hour before school <laughs> to prepare. School, okay. So it it's never going to happen that I have 10 minutes. But mm-hmm. um I feel like um it it's something I must do. Okay. But it's not that bad that I do it uh, uh I mean uh I realize that it's good for me, but sometimes I just don't want to go. <laughs> Okay, Anastasia. Okay, you are in the 11th grade, right? Yes. And I would love to know your experience uh, since the lowest grade. Like a lot of things have happened uh, until now. Would you like to share how your experience has been in school so far? Well, I uh I often say that uh, the school is my second home because uh, oh. for all of these 11 years I feel like home here. I've never moved uh, to another school. Uh I have uh, friends that are here since the very beginning. Uh some of the teachers know me very well and I I feel really cozy here. Uh it was good for me every year because mm-hmm. uh there's no day like the other. I mean okay. every day is different here okay. and it's some days are boring, some days are interesting. Sure. It, it's it's good for me to be here. Like I I don't want to leave this place. <laughs> uh, uh. That's that's really amazing. Uh like it becomes a second home to you and it is a second home, right? The project is carried right, out thank thanks you to the financial Anastasia. support of the European program Erasmus Plus K Action 2 capacity building in the field of youth. Yes, so I know that this is going to be quite a sensitive topic um to most of us if not all of us. However, we have managed to pop out a series of thoughts from different categories of people upon what brings about school dropout. Uh without waste of time let's proceed with a few discussions on this topic and let's hear from our participants today. All right, without making this a complex, let's begin with the with this quite a uh, simple question. Like you are you are to be amazed of how different people think uh, what school dropout is. Anyway, so What comes into your mind 
uh, when you hear the concept or term school dropout? Like, what do you think school dropout is? Let me begin with uh, uh, her. I don't know. With her. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce Hello. yourself, please. Um, my name is Stacy Oswald, and um, to me, what I think the term you say. Yeah. Uh, what What do you think school dropout is? Uh, when you hear school dropout well when i hear school dropout the fir- first thing that comes in my mind is uh school was so hard someone had to run that's the first original thing that comes in my mind but mm-hmm. um after actually taking time to actually think i start questioning uh, why school dropouts and all of that so when we get to that part i'll explain mm-hmm. but for now i'd say like if i think <coughs> of school dropout it's just a person that couldn't deal with school, you know, or mm-hmm. couldn't keep up with all the grades that they had to accomplish or to finish, you know, and uh, they left. Okay, amazing. Uh, so, uh, how about you? What do you think school dropout is? Hello, it's Miguel. Uh, yeah, the school dropout. It's it's when uh, you don't um, succeed in uh, the the things that the school wants from you or the things that the family want from you because sometimes the family is a big problem mm-hmm. in school drop out mm-hmm. and just quit school and I hope most of the people when they drop school they went to work <coughs> so this is what I'm thinking oh amazing how about you what do you think uh, <laughs> school drop out is like oh, okay hi guys my name is Ayubu and uh, to me, school dropout is uh, when a person cannot continue to school. There's a lot of reasons, different reasons. Everyone has his or her own reason. Parents, uh, maybe school is hard, and, um, peer pressure, a lot of decisions. So the act of not uh, continuing with the studies as a school dropout. Oh, amazing. So, okay, uh, all these thoughts are really. Uh, interesting and there could be a lot of uh, uh, thoughts of what school dropout means to different people but then let's proceed uh, what do you think are the primary facts that bring about school dropout or that could even bring up that that particular thought of dropping out from school like what do you think are the primary facts that lead to school dropout I, I will begin with uh, Mr. Gena right now. Uh, I think that stupidity. Some people are just... <laughs> that was harsh. <laughs> yeah. That was rude. So, so, just some people don't have uh, IQ to go to school. Mm-hmm. And I think that they're everywhere in the world. This how we call it. Yeah, it's like uh, often stupid people, but some of them are just like this. They are born like this. Um, they, they can work hard, but not in school, not in the system, I think. The other thing is uh, money. Yeah, the, uh, in, in a lot of schools, a lot of kids don't have money to go, don't have uh, money for dress. Um, or some of them, for example, I have friends here who have so much money. Their parents have a lot of money, so they think that they don't need to, to study because they are too too rich and too intelligent to, to be with the normal people. Um, the other thing is parents. Parents sometimes give a lot of pressure and this make you quit school. And other reasons, some problems in childhood is also a reason. Uh, like um, dad or, or mother who is alcoholic, all these problems they are they are in the world so this is this is not not uh, only in my country or in Africa. This is in the whole world. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is this is going to be interesting. So, uh, you've talked about uh, you've talked about different uh, reasons, and uh, you've talked about stupidity, uh, the fact of uh, having money, and not having money can either way lead to school dropout. Huh? So, uh, this is an interesting fact. Uh, I want you to talk more about the fact of uh, of uh, parents' pressure. You've said, uh, like, in terms of what parents push you 
to go to school or to leave school what do you again it's 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 the both either way <laughs> yeah either way it's the either way because sometimes the the kids you know the teenagers years especially uh, start to, to fight with the parents then the parents say do this do this then they do the opposite so sometimes this is this is a problem but like I saw in, in Africa there's a lot of parents who uh, wasn't educated so they are thinking that education is not something important for their life mm -hmm. uh, this, this uh, again drop out from school uh, or um, like like they say problem with the parents divorced parents they are fighting the kid is in depression all no, of this these diseases uh, and a lot of other problems in uh, in the family or you are living far away from school so you cannot go to school at all this is also i think it's problem from parents not from the kids mm. Yeah. Amazing. So uh, I would love to hear from you, Stacy. What do you think are the primary facts of dropping out from school? Um, I think uh, peer pressure could be one of them. You know, mm -hmm. hanging out with the wrong crowd can cause you to yeah. um, end up, uh, you know, making stupid decisions. You know, and um, it could just force you to, you know, someone is doing this, let me do it. You know, but everyone has their own timeline. If you know, someone else could be married by 20 and you should be in school by 20. It doesn't mean you should follow what someone else is doing. Something else I could say, perhaps punishments in terms of African schools, maybe. Mm -hmm. That, no, maybe. <laughs> that is the reason uh, most people drop out. Like in my school where I schooled, I witnessed actually over 10 people dropping out from school just because of that. Um, teachers over punish, you know, and it's not just about... Um, detention or something actually if you get detention you're lucky um really you're lucky for five hours detention you're really lucky you know <laughs> but it depends with the school you went to my school had detentions but it's like they would lock you up in a room that is probably an ex toilet and you would just be there <laughs> you know for five hours but you're actually dancing like whoa i skipped it you know but the rest they would tell you maybe you have to lay down and everyone has to like you know cane you and it's not with one teacher it's with over five teachers like my i'm sorry my body's not made for that and i didn't come to school for that and i think for me in my opinion i think most kids have that problem and i want to go back to the point of money in families mm -hmm. sometimes it could be medium you know like maybe things were good and things went bad and mm -hmm. this person is forced to change uh to adapt to their situation like maybe they were schooled in a international schools they don't have that in international schools and you have to go back to government schools and you have to cope with that you can't cope with it you know because one day you are a prince the next you're a slave you can't cope with that and many people end up dropping out for me i think those are the two most important reasons okay. why you know Wow, amazing stories and how about ayubu would you love to say something about the primary facts uh, I think uh, the real reason for school dropout uh, uh, can trace them back from parents. You know, it's all about preparation. When you, are, you decide to have a child or something, you have to, to know that uh, what's going to happen to the kid. You know, it doesn't matter if you are poor or you are rich, you just have to know that this kid is going to go through this way. So for example, where I come from in Africa, a lot of people just get kids. They don't even know. After three months, how is the kid going to they be? They don't think about it. They don't think about it. So, a lot of parents at the end of the day, they don't know how to control their kids. You see, you have a kid, you don't have anything to give the kid, to support the kid to the school or something like that. And also, in another way, also parents, they are not good when coming to advise their kid. Uh, a lot of parents want to make a copy of themselves. They, they don't really want their kids to do something that they want. It's just like a, to follow their passion. Yeah, it's just like a, when a parent have a, all the money to put a kid to school, if he's a lawyer, then he wants his son or daughter to be a lawyer. Yeah. So whatever the kids do, it be like, you don't have to do this, you have to do that. So at the end of the day, kids just drop out of school. It's just like, what can I do? Because this is not interesting for them yeah, at all. It's not <laughs> interesting at all. So, 
<coughs> also, that is also another problem. The third problem is that a lot of people doesn't really understand the teens and the young ones. It's just like a, a parents use what what we say an iron hand. It's just a, you have to do as I do. Mm -hmm. But a uh, kids might have some problem at school, uh, have some desire, their own interest. But parents don't know how to to advise them or to tell them what to do. It's just like okay, mom, I feel like I'm a dancer. Go to school. <laughs> this is not for you. But to be honest, maybe the kid is a good dancer. Mm -hmm. um, if, if they have problems, they cannot even talk to their parents. So they have to talk to their other uh, youth or other kids. So at the end of the day, they go into peer pressure and everything. And at the end of the day, school dropout. So to me, I can trace it back to parents. Just uh, if you mm -hmm. have a kid, you must have. A, it's just like a. Um, uh, starting a company, you know that in my company I'll have this and this and this and my way is that after three or five years my company have to be somewhere there. So if you are having kid, you know that my kid will live here, will start there and will do this. So if you just uh, have a kid and you don't know what's going to happen then we are nothing but animals, you know. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Uh, anyway, uh, I love these uh, stories. However, like my, like to my personal point of view, the primary facts have uh, popped out the interesting one for me. It's the issue of uh, money and money. Like, like either they are part, they drop out because they have a lot of money, or they drop out because they don't have any money. You know, uh, I've experienced that before. Like, uh, kids come to school and they. Well, they see that they they don't need to to, to, to do any studying or stuff because uh, their parents worked for them, and uh, yeah, so their parents should teach their kids the real life. I would say okay. As we proceed, I want uh, this is going to be another interesting uh, question. Do you think the rate of school dropout from the early years? Is decreasing or it's the other way around do you think uh, in the back like the years before a school dropout the percentage of school dropout compared to the percentage now is high or low like you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. yeah. so uh, Stacy would you love to talk about that um. Well, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you read my mind. Okay, yeah, but um, sure. <laughs> uh, for me, I think it depends with which schools you're talking about. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about government school, honestly, I really don't know. But if you're talking about private school, I think it's actually an increase. You know, because people think going to an international private school is the new black in town. You know, so everyone is trying as hard to take their kid to a private school and the kids want to stay in school because it's a private school and it has a name, you know, hey, I school mm -hmm. it, you know, I school a Lord, you know, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, Lord, you okay. see, in Tanzania at least. But um, in government, I am not so sure. I cannot answer I that. Can say I can that. answer that because I studied government school since I was five. Uh -huh. Sure, it's good. increasing, you know. Uh, for them in Tanzania, there's this, uh, what do we call it? Uh, mm, uh, big result now. It was closed already. Yeah, it was closed, but uh, it is its good. impact is just like uh, they increased um, a lot of students who are being to uh, what place? Admitted to school. So you find the one class with 200 students or 300 students. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end of the day, the one who are doing final examination uh, out of three or four hundred students is fifty or one hundred. Uh, others are just dropping during the process. So I think yeah. the level of dropping out is uh, increasing because uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, you find up a class with seventy-five students or hundred students, and all of them do their final examination. But nowadays, uh, a lot of students. And a lot of people are dropping out of school. So, Before to me, when examinations. you're talking about Tanzanian government schools, the level of students uh, dropping out of school is increasing. It's increasing. And for private, I don't think even if it's there, because people, they, they, uh, it's just they prefer to to fail the examinations and drop out of school, because uh, when you're in private schools, there are a lot of pressures like a, a lot of school fees. Um, as you say, a name, you know, I'm in a private school. And also, 
uh, the education is a little bit better than government school. So for a student to, to drop out of a private school is very a little bit difficult than government school. Because government school, a, a student may not go to a school for like a month and the teacher doesn't notice. I can but, I can say from from my experience the the opposite because here in uh, in Bulgaria it's uh, most of the, the schools are uh, government property and most the the high level of the, the schools are actually not private schools um, so most of the people here I don't know I think that uh, the school dropout is um, getting lower and lower because our government is putting laws um, because the government is giving money to the parents when the kid is going to school or kindergarten so most of the people uh, are forced to, to bring their kids at, uh, at school if you want to receive this money So you're being paid? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're very little money Yeah, but yeah. Very, yeah, but it's some something. It, it's actually nothing. It's like uh, motivation. So we are going to school as yes. you can. <laughs> it's your job right away. But um, uh, most of the the kids who are dropping out school are, let's say, um, in private schools. I think that the, the level of dropping out is even more because they are rich people here in, in Bulgaria who is studying in, in private in private schools they are rich people because it's very expensive and most of them they they don't don't drop out but how to explain this because they pay for their education this means that they, they will graduate it doesn't matter are they there or not yeah. because to graduate is not like a, to to be real at, at school because here there's a schools who just will give you the, the documents Go ahead because the yeah because they need they need numbers yeah. uh, because even the schools to receive money from from the government they need numbers like yeah. no, numbers for example for one class 25 people they will see they, they know that they will see 20 20 thousand level Oh, the school. Is, uh, so it's like uh, it's like the buying certificate. Yes, the the schools needs mm -hmm. needs people to make money to pay salary yes. and to, yeah. to have for themselves. So, so this is this is other thing. So dropping out here, it's it's um, something which is more more difficult. They will mm -hmm. put you to to graduate, then to kick you out from school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but but you know that's I want to talk about both your points you know uh, it's a good point that you've said um, people stay in school but do they graduate you know uh, actually in Tanzania mm -hmm. you do graduate but you don't pass <laughs> you see that's the thing so yes um, if you if you're talking about dropouts as in they didn't get to a final stage that they're supposed to get to to cross to the next then in private school then they're less but if we're talking about failing that is something else Mm -hmm. different yeah. podcast for that but <laughs> I, I also want to talk about what Ayubu said about big results now I kind of want to differ with what you said first of all that was a very stupid whatever whatever <laughs> they were trying to make it was stupid because the thing you know you're supposed to make sure that people's grades are going high instead they brought them low you know so oh. yeah like for example my final um results for my high school i was supposed to get first class but i got second class with my grades which usually i would get first class, first class. it's stupid so. why i got first class i mean i, I still tell people i got first class because that's what i know yeah. uh, but at the end of the day you end up admitting 300 people in school and let's be realistic 250 of those people actually failed so what are they doing they already dropped out they're just yeah. wasting time in class <laughs> in the air in the classrooms you know mm -hmm. but i i think it all depends with who you are. At the end of the day, sometimes I don't think it's fair to exactly blame the parents 100%. I don't think it's fair because, I mean, my parents, they are, hmm, yeah, I can't go there. But at one point, I was thinking it. I was like, man, you know, you know how easy it is to just say, I'm done. Do you know how easy it is to just get there? But that wasn't my parents because my parents, they were listening to whatever I was saying. 
what do you want of course uh, the question of dropping out was not on the table <laughs> but they would they would let me do whatever i want if it was fashion if it was dancing if it was whatever i could do it but at the end of the day it's who you are and what you want to be if it's Nicki Minaj then go ahead drop <laughs> so anyway what you're uh, trying to say is uh, parents uh, should give their kids chance to give out their thoughts right I'm trying to say that even parents need to be educated and it's not just in um, class educated because some parents it comes from a good place mm. it's not because okay I'll be lying if I said my parents 100% supported my every crazy dream mm-hmm. you know it took time for them to see okay she's really serious in this and she really wants to do it and i think at that point when i had to select either law or art and i went for art my dad was like um, yeah I, you just look like me but otherwise <laughs> i would you know but it's like it took them time to get to that point and these parents it's not that they hate me no they just wanted what's best for me and they thought if you did fashion how would you make money out oh. of it and that's what most parents think about like okay most some they just want to implement their dreams through their kids but their kids. most of them are like okay you want to be a dancer but how will you make money will the industry dance? is not really that big to be honest to be honest same with music yep uh, <laughs> basically all art forms i guess uh, so yeah as you proceed compare the reasons in africa like now i come about it go fast go fast uh, well uh, this will come one hour like <laughs> compare the reasons of african school dropout with bulgarian uh, school dropout like i would love you gena to talk about this like c- can you co- compare the reasons here and there like what do you think leads to bulgarian students to drop out mm. i think that i answer with uh, to this question with my my saying about what is dropout uh-huh. you know what are the reasons uh-huh. uh, you can see the the, the dropping out the same reasons are, are, are everywhere mm. but i think that comparing uh, uh, africa and bulgaria uh, let's say that the people m- more more kids drop out because they don't have money mm-hmm. this is this is the thing that uh, it's it's I'm, totally different and compare yeah in yeah, comparing yeah. bulgaria because I, okay. I i explained that our system here it's totally different from yeah. yours so the people um, the, the parents actually prefer their kids to go to school so they can collect this money mm. um, even in the, in the gypsy family they are they are forced to to go to school to go to school but to there is another uh, another thing like yeah huh? yeah they are forced because they they won't receive this money monthly oh. Oh. if if the kids are not at school they they need to to bring a paper from the school sign it mm-hmm. and uh, you don't have to to miss i think more than five Five hours for a half year. If you if you go um, like six hours, six or seven hours without without the teacher to be sick or something to happen, uh, they don't give you this this paper. Mm-hmm. So in, in front of the government, your kid is not going to school, and they won't they will start the money for okay, you. Okay, so you are out. Yeah, and the other the other reason is that actually. Uh, to my experience in Uganda I can see how young is the generation and how many kids are the people uh, mm. making and you are in Uganda the people are increasing with with uh, big big numbers mm-hmm. and here in Bulgaria is totally different we are getting lower and lower the, mm. the, the people the are population not, yeah the population the people are not making kids so mm-hmm. every family have one two yes. some some don't so mm. it's it's much more harder to the, the kids to, to drop out ah, to drop out okay yes. yeah i understand that I, I also heard actually that uh this you you can go to school to the university without uh with just going to school with just the requirements but not giving school yeah this dues. is yeah this is the the, the normal school here uh, you just need it's, to it's basically totally different yeah you need the, just to pay for your books and parents this is it ah. even some schools uh, provide uh, uh, transport to them oh yeah. amazing so no reason for dropping out i understand not <laughs> no there is so, a reason, so, re- reason yeah but not, not money. money oh man okay so 
So, uh, so, so, <laughs> what you say? So, okay, so this is going to be more of a discussion. Uh, so this last session, I want us to discuss about something like, uh, Stacy, have you, have you had any thoughts of uh, dropping out at one moment I from just school? said I did, I did. And uh, what, what like made you uh, think of like, this is definite, I'm done with school, like? The teachers. Can I'm you? not blaming uh-huh. the teachers, but it's, it's, they would make, you know, it's one thing to punish someone like um, caning them. Mm-hmm. It's another thing to make them feel like, why you're alive, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like the teachers, make they, their life hell. yeah, you know, it's like they, they, they make you feel like my parents hate me. You know, they make you think of all of this negativity, like, why am I here? Why was I even born? You know, and I don't think that is right to make someone feel that. And I'm not just saying feel like maybe they might say something sarcastically. No, they're telling you straight up to your face. Why were you born? Like, in the front of everybody. Yes, and in front of everybody. And I'm sorry, your school fees, I mean, your, your pay comes from my school fees. Why are you talking to me like that? You see, mm-hmm. it was just at one point, the teachers, they were too harsh. You go into the classroom they will just walk in and say everybody stand up take out your books and you're like oh you put your <laughs> books on the desk and they're like um open to the first topic i'm like here's my first topic this is what they will do they will come and say your first statement did not start with a capital letter kneel down what uh, <laughs> why did you just tell me to start the statement with a capital letter you know and they they would look for reasons to just punish you Mm -hmm. and for me that was at one point it was too much and the day that i got really mad was actually it it didn't even happen to me it happened to my best friend she was dozing she wasn't feeling so well and the dispensary was full and the teacher came in and he asked a question but she was a bit not you know she wasn't in that yeah you know and you know what the teacher did Mm -hmm. he took the duster and hit the duster on her head and left the chalk on her head and i felt so bad i remember going back home i cried she laughed but i cried you know Mm -hmm. and i felt like why did he do that he could have asked you what's wrong why are you not responding what because she didn't even look like she was in the classroom you know Mm -hmm. and she was like it's fine it's fine she just dusted her head and i went home and i told my dad i don't want to go to school you know Mm -hmm. and my dad was like why okay my dad knows i hate school but he knows that the reason why i stay in school is so that i cannot repeat the class but for me to get to that point i say i don't want to go to school he just said i want to go to school and talk to that teacher that makes you think you don't want to go to school you know so i think i i consider myself one of the strongest people but i'm wondering other people how they feel when they get to that point straight up with a grown up and they tell you that and i was like 13 or 14 back then so imagine mm-hmm. someone that's nine, you're making them feel like, why am I in school? It's all about torture. I don't want to do this. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. So we are talking about like, uh, okay, that, that strong uh, thought that uh, like, that's, that. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Never think about we'll, it. We'll cut this. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> think about it. That's strong reason for dropping out okay okay so like uh the thing is uh go (laughs) you wrote it right you can't read it can i help you yeah well okay yeah so we are talking about that situation when you strongly had a thought to stop school that's what we are talking about right now so ayubu would you love to say something about this i forgot you were in the studio no, uh, <laughs> and I forgot this question. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, <laughs> I was just thinking, how long did it take for him to just get that sentence? Let me say this again. Okay, you know, it's not like I, I've never got a reason to drop out of school. I dropped out of school like two times, you know, if not three. So I know, <laughs> so I know what is uh, what is it to drop out of school, and I had a lot of reasons. You see, uh, I always say that I did, uh, my childhood is a hardcore part of Tanzania. You mm-hmm. know, when your parents do nothing, you are studying in a school where a class have like 200 people, you see. Where being candy or 
being beaten by teachers is something that's common. No, very normal. <laughs> if you, if you, if you go normal. out of school and the devils are being beaten, it's just like, uh, well, uh, you are a saint. Uh, you have been beaten. It's something that uh, um, difficult to understand. So I was raised in, in something like that. All my life in school was just like that. During standard one primary school up to uh, form six in secondary school before I went to a uh, university. So I understand what is it. So I had a lot of reasons. Um, teachers. Uh, I took all the reasons. <laughs> at one point, I just parents said, reasons. Yeah. Then many you, reasons. A lot of reasons. So if I speak you one or two reasons, the first one I, I could say, uh, as I said before, mm -hmm. I always blame parents because um, you know you have a father. You know he can do you something. You have no grandparents, parents, right? Huh? Do you have a great parents? No, I don't have a great parents. No, but it, it's a fact. <laughs> yeah, it's a fact that uh, I don't hate my parents, but it's a fact that they didn't do anything to make me mm -hmm. uh, have a very good education. It's just like you have a parent, he's just there. Have you gone to school? Yes. I need a book. Okay. I need something. Okay. And okay. he doesn't give you anything. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a, the support. It's just a parent. Yeah. Yeah, it's someone who helps you to brought you in the world. But it, it's specific yeah, parents. Yeah, there. And also, um, you know, when I, when you are studying, for example, in a advanced school, I studied a region called Mbea in Tanzania. And the problem in Mbea is that uh, they hate people from the Islam, and they hate people who are not Christians. <laughs> it's uh, it's just normal, you know. It's just normal. And when I was there, I was the most hated person in the school because. Uh, uh, people who are not uh, Christian and not uh, from Bear, just like five people. And uh, I so, was the only one who, who was so, so, so you, you are hated who was because, active, so, because you're hated, so, so everyone hated. knows me, so everyone hates me. You're hated because you're from Tanzania. Ah, so, Dar es Salaam, sorry. Dar es Salaam. So uh, at some point, uh, you feel like, okay, I'm in Tanzania, in Africa actually, mm -hmm. with people who are supposed to be my people you know? loving but they hate me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why idea. not drop out of school oh. it's simple like that so teachers actually instead of uh, implementing peace and love to students they're implementing hate <laughs> yeah, not we, just <laughs> we, we forgot to, to speak about this actually the, the pressures between between the kids mm -hmm. yeah. this is the, yeah the actually, pressure is yeah, yeah something else that actually you know, the people who are, you are studying it can uh, just make you Precisely. yeah yeah because everybody know how how it's sky uh, high school life for some yeah. people yeah uh, they've been beaten abused and all this and we, we didn't say this but yeah. you know, the, the I, people I, I, around I, you it's very bad i couldn't mm -hmm. care less about beating but uh, there are some things that are, are not very very good for example uh, in Tanzania, we have this book uh, called Man of the People. It's, what is the book? I, I don't remember the title of the book, but in the book... Uh, you just said it. Man of the it's People. It's Man of the People. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> Man of the People. So, one day, I remember, the headmaster declared Ayubu Mbaraz, which is me, as a Man of the People. Uh, but uh, if you say Man of the People, uh, at first you say, okay, someone who loves everyone. But uh, in the book, the guy who was called Man of the People, the way he was... Uh, um, explain this just like a very bad person, a politician who uh, should be hated by everybody, you know. So the guy said that he was a man of the people. In terms that everybody should hate me, should be afraid of me because I'm someone who is not good for their uh, education achievement. And uh, I don't know, I, um, I, I can call myself, uh, I just get used to it. But I don't know if other people will do that. If we could even stay at the school, I stayed at the school, but others, no, and I've visited like five or six uh, students drop out of school during my advanced secondary school. So, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Anyway, there, like personally, the the last time I thought too hard to stop going to school was when I was punished by canes in the dust, laying down. We were actually five friends. Uh, so the reason was playing football in the night, yet we had to go home. So in the next morning they just called us on the break time and then they said lie down. <laughs> Simple as that. So each teacher caned us and if you touch 
uh, once, start over. once you touch it goes back to number zero <laughs> <laughs> and then you have and then they proceed uh punishing but st- but in, uh, worst of all in the dust so uh, well, at least they didn't tell you to roll my friends were made to roll back to class in the <laughs> dust in the dust to roll with white shirts it's crazy Brand because the, the next days i couldn't sit on their desks and it was very worse so we all know that school is a very important session in life and most people or parents try their best to make sure that their children go through the best procedure of studying and the most popular one is the formal however there are is as well the non-formal way of studying which is not so popular but it is believed to be the best way of learning the norms the procedures of overcoming life challenges creatively basing on the child's capacity and strength since it involves a high percentage of um, physical and self drive just a thought of the day the project is carried out thanks to the financial support of the european program erasmus plus k action 2 capacity building in the field of youth so this has been truly an interesting session and i want to deeply thank all our listeners for tuning in Saza kaviri nnyuma Sitera kukorola ngolo dego mpaki zene miola ja fene bambiolie ko Engereke zena zina bye kolero Ibijanja lo kumanyo na bijeko Na kwesunga tanga tujalia mapera nenti ya mama kadenze Bambi be my love Yeah 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 Nothing 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 oh baba please be my love Yeah 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 Oh yeah 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 Ay 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 Na sindi komo baka na kuntwara ko No Always on in ninji na kunkwa na ko na somba mapira go kuba mugongo sija kwera vira vya luli na kunyonyogera nonyegera ebisi gatte vya limolu engolo ensamba kiri ni mama wo ya na kwesunga tanga tujalia mapira ninja mama Kadeze kwete keke